So we will start with this vector field and uh, just by double clicking on the layer name we will get into the layer properties and um, as you see the normal uh, situation is like this that you will find a simple marker there and a single symbol style. We will change this to graduated and the graduation comes from the speed values. In my case it is in column speed raster. We will change the symbol from a circle to um, yeah, something different and this will be this arrow so just by clicking here marker arrow and just by OK and the color ramp will be from red to green so what happens now is we will invert that press on classify and now we will get some nice arrows here but well there are colors changing from big speed values to or large speed values to lower smaller speed values but we need to have the direction and the size of it so not only the not only the color but direction and size so therefore we will go once again into the properties tab click on the symbol choose simple marker here and now you find these symbols here so you can adjust the size of it by clicking new field type and say the size comes from the speed values and the angle comes from the direction values just press on ok press once again on classify and say ok and now you have the situation like this bigger arrows where the uh, where the speeds are higher and low or smaller arrows where the speeds are lower but we will increase the vis visualization of it a little bit so right click again or left click again on simple marker choose no outline so we will use no pen and the size will not be directly the values of the speed raster but we will use an expression and the expression comes from of course the speed values and we will not only multiply it but we will uh, have the 1.5 i don't know it's up to 1.5 so just press on okay okay once again classify so it will distribute throughout the, the classes and press on okay now we have the bigger arrows here and the smaller arrows right here so that's it here now um yeah from more or less this is it so this is our wind map we have the gradients or the directions over here and we have the colors changed and the sizes of their rows. Thank you very much for watching.